Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel and happy new year and no it's February but this is the first video I'm filming of this year so happy new year I hope you all had a lovely Christmas happy new year yes everything I hope everything's going well for you and yeah let's just get on with the video so as you can see by the title I'm going to be talking about what it was like working for every so we all know every yeah so basically, if you didn't know, every before was Herm or Hermes, however you see it, the parcel delivery company that, frankly, throws your parcels around and they don't give a shit about their customers. Do they? No. Anyways, we're going to talk about what it was like working for them. So basically, um, I had been looking for a long time for a job and I'd been looking on Indeed, on Glassdoor, on LinkedIn, on literally everything. Even my friends were helping each other looking for jobs and this one job kept popping up and it was for every. So the one that there was, it was actually like 30 minutes away from me and then another one popped up in a different area that was like an extra 10 minutes away as the first one so then it was 40 minutes away from me and then one in my area actually popped up and I kept getting messages about these like you know how indeed like um emails you're saying oh this one is closed this matches your cv that you've got on indeed whatever so I kept getting these messages I basically I just gave in and I applied and here is the actual job description and what was on so let me just find that I'll be a second I'm sure I did take a picture of it because it's not they, they advertise it wrong basically which is disgusting um yeah let me see it here i've got a picture of it okay so it was at every courier job in england and it was for part time and it's day shift hiring multiple people and it just said england right but then when you actually go on it it says the area which is my area so oh, i thought i took a picture of the description let me find it on my whatsapp because i have the manager on my whatsapp and he wasn't well he, he's a nice person but not for every he didn't really care about the people so basically i got so mad, mad at him after doing the job because i obviously did quit uh and i ended up messaging him about oh you're like advertising wrong and everything anyways so this job says so whether you're looking for an extra income up to Christmas or you fancy a, a complete change of career, join us now by visiting career um, website or download our Every Career app, whatever. This is job type, full-time, part-time, permanent, temporary contract, fixed-term contract, temp to perm, freelance or zero hours contract. I wanted the part-time, right? And it says your salary is between £13 and £55 per hour. Bullshit. Right, anyone who's worked for every knows that is bullshit. Even when I seen the job advert, I knew it was bullshit because you get paid per parcel and I knew that because I've seen like loads of people do videos, loads of reviews on it and things like that, but I wanted to try it for myself. So I did it just in case it was like, oh yeah, you actually do get 30, no, 55 pound an hour. Obviously, it's telling you that the minimum is 13 pound, but you get paid per parcel. So that is one red flag right there. And then it says the benefits are a referral program. So like referring a friend, you, you're not really enhancing on that don't know who you're referring there but okay anyways then it says day shift then it says supplemental pay types which is performance bonus so basically when you did it um you can put in your time frame of when you think you will end up at your address of your deliveries and if you do meet that target of when you're there you get like an extra couple of pennies probably i never met that because i only worked for them for two days i quit after two days that's how horrendous it was we'll get on to that story in a minute but and then it says a sign and bonus. Enhance, please. I don't know what a sign and bonus is. And then blah blah blah. That's it. Whatever. Um, and actually, before I applied again, I did apply before, and the manager was keep messaging me like, "Are you doing this? Are you doing this? Are you doing this?" Whatever. But when I did actually apply, um, the training was gonna be thirty minutes away from me, when the actual depot is about fifteen minutes away. And this was because the manager was apparently in that place at the time, so I didn't do it then. And then he messaged me again, being like, "Oh, you can do it now. You can do it now." And then this other woman phoned from a different courier place, which was the one in Middlesbrough, which is about forty minutes away from me um basically saying oh yeah you can do it your trainer will be at it can be at the one you want to want it to be at I'm like, yeah i want it to be out there because that's where i'm going to be working why would i go and travel elsewhere the training wasn't even training okay but let's get back to what the indeed thinks is so then it also says 
become a self-employed career with every and benefit from fuel allowance apparently the fuel support to help with cash flow crap 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 and crap nowhere did my manager say or even verbally say to me yes every pays for your fuel allowance that is crap even like people who've done youtube videos of them actually working for every they have to pay for their own petrol you do not get support with your petrol okay that's another red flag and then it says weekly pay optional weekly pay well i will never know this because i again i only work for them for two days uh, then it's £25 to £250 new starter payment made to couriers who join in the coming weeks. Obviously, I was only there for two days, so I wouldn't have got that, but I'm not quite too sure. Every is so stingy, I really don't think anyone would be getting that. And then it says double service payments, meaning you can earn an additional £224 on top of your basic income. How? How is that going to happen when you get paid per parcel? Sunday bonus payment, so if you're working on Sundays in December, that was obviously when they really needed the staff. Again, I'm not going to know, I didn't work on Sunday, I worked on Tuesday and Wednesday. And then it says every excellent courier reward, so rewards for best performing couriers, again I don't know. Competitive pay, that's just stupid. Then, then, mm, then it says here, you will be paid for each parcel delivered or collected and we have lots of parcels to deliver if you have the time and want to earn more. See, it contradicts itself, saying £30 to £55 an hour, but you get paid for a parcel. What you'll need is your driving licence, MOT, a smartphone, you need to have your own phone. So I did use this phone, my 5G ran out after them two days, so I had to like repay for more. Anyways, so that's another thing if you're going to do this, but I wouldn't recommend it. And the right to work in the UK, obviously, yeah, with no unspent criminal convictions. But with that, you're not going to believe it, I did not get DBS checked. I did not get DBS checked to deliver parcels to houses. For all they know, I might have been a murderer, I might have committed manslaughter, assault, I could have stabbed someone. They would not have known because they did not do a DBS check on me. Isn't that like against the law? I think it is, especially for this type of job. Because I'm going, knocking on someone's door. I could have knocked on the door, went in the house and went, okay, like I'm going to kill you right now and kill them. Obviously, I wouldn't have done that, but I could have done that because they didn't do a DBS check on me. Obviously, I've had no criminal convictions, but it's just the point that they did no DBS check. Like, that, no, does not make sense because the other two jobs that I've had, like, I'm starting a new job this month, actually, in, like, nine days. They did DBS, and the other one, it didn't do DBS, but that was because it was, like, a, like, yeah, it wasn't really, like, a thing that you needed DBS for, but, you know, it's just every, you need a DBS check, like, that is, like, no. So be careful with your delivery drivers because I don't think they would have had a DBS check on them. So be extra cautionate when you open the door to anyone, even if it's your parcel delivery driver, you know? Anyway, so moving on back to when I did it. So basically I got that phone call from the woman and she's like, yeah, yeah, it's gonna be this. It was literally the next day. So I went to the depot, I met the manager and the training that was gonna happen 30 minutes away from me was not even training. All it was, he got my phone and said, okay, download this app. I downloaded an app. He showed me everything on the app. It took about five minutes. He was just like, next, 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 next. Showing me like, oh, you just scan the parcels and then it come on and you can put them in postcode order and just shove them in your car. And then after that, it was just showing me how you can put your own time slot like I was saying to like go when you think you will be there. And then if you hit the target, you get extra money. Anyways, yeah, he did that, and then that was it. That was the training. That was the goddamn training. I'm not going to talk about that. Then, going into the delivery depot, right, it was like, it, to be honest, it wasn't really that big. It wasn't that, there was a lot of parcels, but not as many as I expected, because, you know, every year's like, oh, we got so many parcels, so many. There wasn't a million parcels. It wasn't, I'm, I don't even know. Every, get your shit together. Because this parcel warehouse was not even big at all. It wasn't huge. They had a couple of crates. Basically, he just got me a crate. And was like, okay, here's your parcels. Scan them. So I scanned all these parcels. And then I had them all out on the floor. I was trying to put them in postcode order. Because it doesn't tell you on the thingy. Like, how you gonna... He didn't really tell me, oh, you're going to pack your car like this, like this. It'll be easy if you do it like that. Giving me techniques of how to pack parcels. He didn't do that. Um, yeah, and basically when I was getting the parcels though, the guy that was putting them in my crate, oh my God, he was throwing them. I mean, 
throwing the parcels in the crate like so fast like this oh here's your all your parcels so he shoved them to me and then when i was pulling them out i seen like no wonder customers get so angry because these boxes that i had there was this one box that was really light it had about it had a massive hole in the bottom I'm not even joking a massive ass hole surprised the prog didn't even fall out but it was a massive hole in the bottom the top of the box the literally the cellar tape was off so it was open and i was like oh um what am i going to do about this because i know the customer won't be happy when i get there and i'll probably just get the blame he's like nothing i can do you've just got to take it and deliver it i'm like well can you not supply me some cellar tape no nope, we don't have cellar tape what okay so yeah and then i got another parcel literally the top of the parcel was open it was um i think it was the asos one so i'm not quite sure how that one got opened but that was open and anyways yeah it took me about one hour so obviously you do not get paid when you're scanning parcels you don't you don't get paid for none of that you don't get paid for putting it in an order you don't get paid when you put it in your car it takes a long time especially when you're new it took me like an hour um yeah so basically when i did that i picked them back off the ground because I like I said I put them in postcode order but it was pointless because I just had to put them back on the crate I had to carry this crate all the way out to my car again you have to take your own car but that's kind of obvious car or van you have but it has to be your own um so yeah I took that put them all in my car and then here we go we put in the first postcode and I got there whatever and it was in fact the one where the box was completely damaged so I took it to the woman and i feel quite bad i was like knocking on and i was like oh i'm definitely gonna get the blade she's gonna shout at me or whatever and i knocked on i'm like hi like here's your parcel and she was like, oh yeah thank you so i just scanned it and then like ticked that as delivered it and she was like why is it damaged i was like well i am new like this is my first year um and in the depot you know like that the throw the parcels around that and she was really nice about it but i just feel so bad for the customers because obviously they don't give a shit about their customers like people in the warehouse you can't just be throwing these parcels away around i know you don't want to like take your time like too much time but you can't just throw them around like you're literally damaging these people's things and it was so bad like one that i had the other one that was open with the cellar tape as well there was another one with the cellar tape open i could literally see what was inside it was like loads of uh, toys for christmas from the works and i had to deliver that like that i felt horrible like it's not good customer service man and then it, it's just a horrendous job when you put in your postcodes that you go into the sat nav sometimes takes you different places there was one where it would not take me to the front of these houses i had multiple different packages i had to keep coming back and forth back and forth even though it was in postcode order right but it was taking me to one and then take me back to the other postcode i'd literally just been on the same street anyways it did that so there was one where i had to go to the back of the garages because it wouldn't take me to the front of the door and i didn't know how to get round to the front door right so i lived there was this poor old woman i literally had to phone her and she had to come to her garage and she had like mobility issues and i had to give it to her like this honestly that's google's fault though google maps sat nav whatever that's their fault because it literally would not take me to the front of this door but then every I, I had sick i was sick of it i started this job at 11 o'clock in the morning 11 a.m and i finished at 5 p.m how many hours is that 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 hours of work right and guess what did i get paid 13 pound per hour <laughs> no i did not no i did not no i did not anyways but after that i didn't obviously know how much i was getting paid uh but so i phoned the guy i was like hi because i still had parcels left i had about 11 parcels left and that day i had about 45 parcels so i had 11 back left and i phoned him like hi i've got all these parcels i don't really want to do the job anymore he was like oh well i suggest you still do the job being really pushy about it like, i suggest you still do the job like keep those parcels do them tomorrow and we'll give you an extra 30 tomorrow i was like oh but i really don't want to do the job he was like come on just do 30 and he was not giving up so i just ended up giving in and be like okay i'll come back tomorrow at 10 o'clock so in the morning so i went back tomorrow with these 11 parcels i already had i got given another 30 thrown around again whatever the heck you know put in the car it took me an hour and a half to get these parcels in order put them in my car and then drive around look for these addresses and things like that and then you know i did all this and then again it was about six hours later i'm pretty sure i finished at like it was seven hours later because i finished at five again um yeah i finished at five i was like i don't want to do this job anymore ah! and the guy wasn't even answering this guy was in 
another city like 40 minutes away another city and he was like okay i can't really do anything about it like blah, blah blah he wasn't answering my phone calls and after he did it was about an hour like obviously and i was like i can't do the job anymore blah 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 and i was like i've still got all these parcels what should i do with them and he said okay um just you know keep them keep them i was like well can i not take them back to the depot no the depot's closed and he was like okay like keep them and i'll ring you and tell you when to bring them in and then i was like actually i will come to your house tonight on that day tonight i will come to your house and collect them so i was waiting all night literally for him to come i phoned him at like eight o'clock at night he was like no sorry i can't come i'm still in the city doing jobs here i was like you literally told me he's like yeah but i can't i was like well don't make promises that you're not gonna bloody keep anyways and then after that the next day he said oh okay i'll come to your house tomorrow and collect them did he no so I had all these parcels, some of them were next day, so I feel really bad for these people. And then he was like, okay, bring them to the depot the following day. So this is like the third day after I said I don't want to do it anymore. So I took them to the depot at 3 o'clock, yes, 3 o'clock p.m. The depot was closed. I went with one of my friends, it was closed. This is, every is just stupid, man. I don't know, it might have just been my depot, but again, all these reviews are around everywhere. Like, people say every is so bad. But literally, yeah, um, it's closed. So I had to take these parcels back home again. They were next year ones, so this is like two days after the people were meant to get them. Didn't have them. And then it was like a week later, he kept saying, come and go, come and go, come and go. Anytime I went to the depot, the depot was bloody closed. Like, even one time I went at, like, 12 o'clock p.m., it was closed. So, these parcels ended up being in my house for one week, so it took longer and longer and longer for these people to get their parcels. There was this one I actually delivered, and this woman's one was two weeks late. Two weeks! And it was literally a small Debenhams parcel that had, like, some type of makeup in it. Two weeks! Anyways, yes, yeah, so then eventually I took them back to the depot. I gave them to one of the guys. My manager was not there, even though he said he was going to be there. He wasn't, so I just gave it to the other guy and he just gladly took it. And I was like, oh, thank God, I don't work for every no more. So basically, obviously, I was pissed. So I decided to message my manager on WhatsApp and tell him, like, how much am I getting or whatever, you know, like, I want me money. Whatever. So it's like, obviously, it's been a week since I quit the job. Hadn't got any money, hadn't got any um like things seeing how much i was gonna get pay slip whatever you call them okay then it's like a week later so it's two weeks later still nothing the third week finally got something on the thursday it said you are getting it was 21 pound 21 pound for six hours of work when it was meant to be minimum 13 pound per hour mm -hmm. what what is going on literally I was like, what? Are you serious? Um, let me find the messages. Well, let's just read off some of the angry messages I had. Because I was like, hello, could you please come get them tomorrow? This is about coming for him to come and collect the parcels. I've tried contacting you all day. You told me to take them back Thursday. I said afternoon on phone. You said, okay. I went and took them at 2.45pm and the depot was shut. You said you would come to my house and collect them Thursday. You didn't. I'm also a student, so I'm trying to get my essays done. But this has caused me stress because you're ignoring my messages, right? And he said, I had to go to Stanley yesterday, which is about 40 minutes away from me. And today, so bring them tomorrow at 10 a.m. Apologies. I was like, you said Thursday you come collect them from my house. It took me uh, 30 minutes to get to the depot, which it does, well, about 20, 30 minutes. Uh, could you collect them from my house? And I was like, hello, because he was not answering. Like, ugh. I was like, I need to get rid of the parcels today. I, like, I have no space for them. And he said, as I said, I'm in Stanley at the moment. I said, can I leave them out? To I was getting so pissed at this point. I was like, can I just leave them outside the depot? Like, now, see a place outside the depot in a crate? Question mark. Is there any way I can take them now? Put them outside the depot? Question mark. And he texted me, answer me, please. Because he was reading my messages and completely ignoring them. I said, I can leave them outside the depot underneath a crate? Question mark. He said, as I said, bring them tomorrow morning, please. And then I'm like, please, can I just take them and leave them outside? I'll cover them with a crate. I have uni stuff to do. Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. They will be outside in the depot. Uh, can I please do that? Hello. They will be safe outside depot. Hello. Can I leave them outside? Can you come to my house and get the parcels? Can you come or someone please come and get the parcels out of my house? Like I'm saying, he's reading, he's reading all of these messages. 
you can't even see, but he was reading all the messages and just not replying, right? And then on the next following day, or it was like two days after, I said, can you please come to my house and get the parcels? He said, morning, can you bring them to the depot, please? I said, okay, I'll be around there, like half 11-ish, so I did. And then, okay, so overall, I might put these on the screen or whatever, but hopefully you can see. I don't know if you could see that, but it says, focus on me. It says, successful deliveries. I delivered 45 parcels in two days. Oh, two days. Um, and I carried 424 because, yeah, he didn't believe that I had all them left, I guess. He said, because uh, I was like, how much am I going to get? And he was like, hello, I'll check tomorrow. I was like, will I actually be paid? He's like, yes, and then afternoon. And then I ended up accepting his little apologies. And then I was like, have you checked about it? He said, I'll check tonight. I said, have you checked? He said, you will get the invoice Thursday, blah, blah, blah. I got the invoice and like I said, it was £21. So I was like, really like, I sent him then pictures of Indeed showing like what it said. Like how it was like £13, £55 an hour. And I was like, question mark. I did 10 hours. And then on here, it says £13 and £55 an hour. He's like, hello, good day. I will check for you. I said, thank you. Just £21 is not enough since I worked over 10 hours. And the description on the page does, match, does not match indeed. Have you checked? Hello, 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 hello. Hello, hello. Following day, hello. 21 is not enough. Hello, have you checked? This is like five days after. He was still reading them and ignoring. And then all of a sudden, this guy goes, how was your Christmas? Bro, you're ignoring my messages. This is not what a good manager does. I was like, have you checked my peer, please? He said, you should be able to get another invoice tomorrow because this, I was like, 20 months ago, so I was like literally demanding that I got more of him. So I was like, yeah. I was like, how much will it be? Do you think? He's like, not quite sure, but he was one that was making it, so. And then I was like, being nice, because I guess I need to be nice. I was like, how was your Christmas? He was like, brilliant. You must come for a cup of tea. This was about maybe a month after I did the job. I was like, I was like, huh, I love tea because I didn't know what I like put. It was like, like you were persistent, and then he put kick, 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 kick. I was like, uh huh, because I didn't know what the heck he was on about. Then I put Christmas is the best type of holidays. He's like, true. And then on the Thursday, I actually didn't receive any more invoice. So I put, I haven't received an invoice. So this is again like a month after. He's like, good day. Let me check for you when I get home. I said, okay, thanks. Have you checked? following day question mark good morning how are you good you he said you should get it next thursday apologies i was like it's been goddamn two weeks since you said i would get another invoice he said apologies and i said okay thanks and i was like is that the new invoice he said yeah that will be the new one i said okay thank you he said what are you doing today why is this guy wanting to know what i'm doing i don't know and i said weekly food shop you he said I am in Bolden. We'll arrange for a coffee catch up tomorrow. I was like, oh, nice. Following day. Good morning. How are you? I said, good. He said, very well. Are you able to come to the depot around 2 p.m.? I was like, eh, I'm not working for you anymore. I literally work two days. Like, you don't know me. Like, what the heck? I was like, why? He was like, for coffee. I was like, oh, nice offer, but I'm busy doing New Year's stuff with family. Thank you. He said, cool. We'll catch up next week. I was like, thank you. <laughs> I didn't know what the fuck. He was literally such an awkward man, honestly. And then it was like maybe five, six weeks later, I put, Hi, I just received my new invoice and it's £25. I'm sorry, but altogether that's £46. That is not enough for 10 hours of work and does not match the hourly rate that was put on Indeed. Following day, because again, he read it, didn't reply. I said, So what's up with that? He said, Morning. As mentioned, it's paid per parcel, not hours. I said, yes, I know that, but why is the hourly pay on Indeed and then stating you get minimum £13 an hour? False advertising, question mark, because he did not reply for a further nine hours. Then he just said, good evening. And then on the 6th of January, I put, yeah, so it's false advertisement on Indeed since it's minimum £13 an hour. And then he just read that. And then on the Thursday, the 12th of January, which is the last time I ever texted him, I said, hi. I haven't received the £25. And then I just give up. Give up. Because these people do not care. Okay? So do not, and I mean do not, work for every. I mean, if, so yeah, like I was saying before the camera cut off, if you want to be stressed out to the max and be in your car all day and just, ugh, then yeah. 
work for every oh another little story that I have basically um I didn't really know how to set my times of when I was going to be there at the person's house so I just left them and obviously I was late every time I did not actually come in between that time sl slot and I can understand why it would be frustrating for people to see your parcel will be delivered between this and this and then they come like another two hours later which was what I did I understand that but there was one guy I was delivering to and he proper shouted at me because I was just about coming to his door, just about going in the gate, and he was looking out the window, and he come out, and he was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, oh, you're here now. I was like, excuse me? I was like, yes, this is your parcel. He was like, are you looking for, and then said the name. I was like, yeah. He's like, you're late. You're late. Why are you late? I was like, I'm sorry. He was like, but you're late, you shouldn't be late, you put on this and now you're one hour, two hours late, like, blah, blah. he's probably shouting that, and I was like, oh, I can't deal with this, like, I'm not, that was like the last straw, I was like, nah, every is a big, no, no. So yeah, guys, that is my experience working with the one and only Everys, Hermes, the little crappy dappy dappies, so this is a message to all the custom, no, not all the customers, to all the companies out there, if you're watching, that use every as your parcel people please do not don't just don't use dpd i know dpt is um i think it's a bit more expensive than every that's why they don't use them but still please just use dpd use ups use the other ones what's the other one um that green one can't remember what it is but use that one use them do not use every every is crap <laughs> So yeah guys, if you like the video and like the video and thank you for watching, bye!